Hello there AppSpy viewers, my name's Peter and I've got a hands-on video for you. This time it's with SwapQuest. SwapQuest is from Rebus Mind Game Design and uh, you can see that I'm constantly moving along here and uh, what I want to do is keep you... Oh no, I can't go through that way, can I? What, where do I want to go? Hmm, I think what I'll do is I will grab this one and swap it here. So you can see it's a little bit like... Um, oh, I seem to remember playing a game like Pipe Mania. It's a little bit Pipe Mania. Um, which is like a classic Amiga puzzle game, um, but the idea is that you need to you need to take your character, who is uh, it can be male or female, um, and you move them around and you you get them from one end of the screen to the next, and you defeat monsters along the way and tap on these little hay thingies, see what's in there, um, and uh, collect fun treasures while you can as well. So I'm going to go along here and tap this tree and uh, see if there's anything else in here. There's not. Aha! So we've defeated that, so we've defeated this and uh, we grab that, we grab as many gems as we possibly can. The reason that we want to do that is quite obvious. Um, you get more gems, means more points, means more money to upgrade on uh, your, well, to spend on your cool things, I suppose. Um, you can upgrade your character so that they have more abilities, so they can do more stuff, so that they can fight harder, so that they can survive for longer. And um, I'm playing the single player campaign mode at the moment, so at the bottom of the screen you can see that there is very much a an end goal, an end state to reach. Oh god, where do we go now? Okay, let's grab that. Um, uh, but there's also an endless mode that you unlock pretty early on, which is effectively the same kind of stuff. Actually, no. Oh, no, I do want to keep going. Um, one of the hard things about this is trying to figure out... Trying to just constantly remember where you are and what pieces you have access to and, you know, what you have available to you. You'll see at the top I've got um, six hearts. I can actually fill them up more. I can also lose them if I get into scrapes with enemies. Uh, and I can refill them and uh, and so forth as well. I've got... I've been playing for, I would say, like 10-15 minutes now. And it is... Oh, no, I don't want to move that. Um, it is definitely... Oh, God. Where am I going? Where am I going? Okay, we'll go this way and then that way. Yeah, okay. Pop, 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 pop. Um, because we need to keep moving. And the reason is that this purple f misty stuff uh, will catch up with you and, 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 and you'll game over if you're uh, if you're really caught by it. Oh, tap, tap, tap. Grab all those things. And I'm just whipping through it as fast as I possibly can now. But really, you know, one of the big, one of the really big deals about this game is... Oh, cack. Ah, oh, gosh. So I'm going to have to go back a little bit. There we are. So and then move that one down, then move... Uh, you know, it is going through and fighting all of these things and, um, you know, making sure that you level up and you, you, you know, there's experience in this, there's there's all sorts of um, extra items to find and fun things to do and quests to accomplish, like getting through a stage in a certain amount of time or getting through unscathed or fighting a number of enemies or getting a number of chests or, or whatever. Um, Let's go through here and tap in all these things. Tap, 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 tap. We're so close towards getting to the end now. Getting into a bit of a fight now with this little bruiser. Uh, okay. So it's all a bit, it, you know, it's a puzzle game, but it's fast moving. And, oh gosh, can I move this? No, I can't. So I'm going to get hit by that, I think. Oh, I don't want to do that, but I'm going to anyway. So let's go through here. We've grabbed the chest. Hopefully it will make up for it. Oh, one damage. Not good. But not, um, not massively scary either. Um, no, go back, go back, go back. You can change which direction they're going, and if you come to a crossroads, then you can see, you know, you can uh, you can choose which way you actually want to end up going. Uh, you'll often find that you're sort of tapping and uh, you're tapping your character quite often, just to ensure that you get through, oh, ah! um, so that they don't go wandering off. Because that's one of the really big problems uh, that you'll face in the game. Uh, it is quite simply that if you if you let your characters wander off, you'll get super confused as to where it is that you're meant to be going next. So let's bring this here, yeah, and then let's bring that there, and then put that there. Okay, I think we're doing all right here, and we're just about to cross the finish line. And here we go, huzzah! And I love that congratulations thing that comes down. It totally reminds me of um, of nineties. PC games. It totally does. Looks great. Um, finished leveling. Ah, uh, didn't... Uh, did, we, did we manage to do that? Yeah, okay. So we managed to do all those cool things. So that's good. 
Uh, we're really not that far throughout the game yet. Um, there are encounters to, 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 to overcome as well. Let's head to our caravan first before we do anything like that. Um, we've got two tabs. I'm going to switch between them. We've got my scepter at the moment, which has got two attack. I've got 83 gems. If I'd have focused more on getting more money, then I could have grabbed a battle scepter, which would give me a really good chance of winning. But at the moment, I'm going to have to go with... Hmm, do I grab a leather garment? Oh, I've got my training dress. I, nah, I don't want to get a leather garment. I don't need to get any of that sort of stuff. We got up here. The UI is really nicely designed. All right, so let's head on forward to defeat the Gargon. I've also heard that there are other ways of upgrading and uh, improving your beastie, uh, your your character. So that's that's also kind of cool. Oh gosh, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, leave me alone. Um, so now I'm going to try and defeat this person. Wilma is now slowed down. Oh yes, Wilma is the character. Ah, bam. Okay, let's let's get back in there and defeat this guy. Ah, so they've they've moved away. Darn, darn you, darn you, darn you, spider. So you go through this and you start you start battling and you you do damage and you you fight them. It's uh it, it's fun. It's a, a really fun little action puzzle game that I am ooh, that I'm yeah very much enjoying. And uh, we, we can't defeat it. So do we? Ha what do we have to do? Do we have to go and get the? Do we have to go and get the little fl flip? Oh, okay. From the side, we can damage them. So it's if you get them from the front, then it's not good. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. So I think what we really need now is a way of hmm, moving and getting that heart. How do we get that heart? Oh, we could put that there. And then yeah, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, move up, move up. Then go left. There we go. So we're going to go and grab the heart. That's giving me back some health. And boom. Let's go and attack. Yes. Oh no, we attacked from the back. We had to do it from the side. Darn it. Okay, well, I'm going to try and defeat this spider. You let me know what you make of this in the comments. I think that this is pretty neat. I think that it's a pretty neat uh, uh, puzzle game. And uh, yeah, I very much enjoyed my time with it so far. It's coming out in April. It's not available just yet. Um, but uh, I think from what I've seen so far, it is definitely one that you should be interested in if you like puzzle games. So drop me a line in the comments and I'll speak to you all very soon. This is Peter with AppSpy.com. We review. You decide.